I'm going to tell you exactly how to grow a game on Roblox and what you should and must not do to make your game a success. Some of the fatal mistakes and some of the best things you can do to grow your game are going to be revealed in this insanely information packed video. So let's start. First, let's talk about the do's. One of the most important things you can do to grow your game is to make sure it is high quality. And this means that it's bug free, it looks good, and it's easy to understand, and it is very engaging, and the gameplay is well thought out so that players always have something to do and always have a clear objective, and so that they're just having fun constantly and they want to invite their friends. This will give them a great experience and encourage them to share the game. Share, share, share. Don't get blocked. Another thing you can do to grow your game is to market it effectively. A lot of small developers make these amazing games, but they don't know how to market it or they just do not do it correctly for whatever reason. You can do this by creating great ads and reaching out to Roblox YouTubers as well as using social media like TikTok to spread the word about your game. You can also use Roblox's built-in marketing tools like the sponsored ads feature and the normal ads feature, which we talked about. You can also implement promo codes in your game and promote them on your social channels to get more people to join. Next, let's talk about the things you should absolutely not do if you're trying to grow your game. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is not listen to your player base. If your players are telling you that they're having tons of issues in your game, stuff isn't loading, things aren't working right, there's bugs, 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 you need to fix this and you need to listen to your players and tell them that you are working hard to make the necessary changes. Ignoring your players will only lead to frustration and a decline in play fast so you've got to fix issues fast and everything that you do must be done quickly to reach a success you need to try to be efficient when you develop and be direct when you talk to your team so that you can re release updates as fast as possible another thing you should not do is ignore the rules roblox has rules for a reason that all games must follow and all users must follow and if you don't follow them your game will likely get removed this means don't copy stuff from other people don't try gambling your roblox items don't hack don't do anything stupid like this and you should be good and you shouldn't get banned as long as you're careful there's also random bans but trust me it doesn't happen as much as it looks like on these different youtube videos that you see do what you can to avoid getting in trouble with roblox sometimes roblox does make some pretty stupid changes so make sure to voice your opinion still but don't break the rules and finally don't be discouraged if you make a game and it doesn't take off right away growing a successful game on roblox takes a lot of time and effort and the top developers have made hundreds hundreds if not maybe even thousands of projects before reaching their one success the Brookhaven of all games I'm sure that every front page developer has had dozens and dozens and dozens of failed projects but the one thing that separates top devs from all the other devs is that they never quit they never quit making games they never quit making them better so that is how they got to the top of the front page and there's also some more secrets they keep behind locked doors that they don't reveal to you and I'm gonna reveal these to you in the video on screen so that you can learn exactly how these front page developers have grown their game so big over time. Hope to help you on your Roblox development journey even more. So subscribe and leave a like so that I can continue to do that. Thanks.